going somewhere new, not sure what to expect. Let's show you around so that your day will be perfect. <laughs> Sensory squad want to make it simple The farm, circus, palace you can mingle Love crafts, John's your man If he can't make it, no one can Erica and Ray love exploring Wait up! I'm not used to zooming! Join Sensory Squad and find your way Explore, have fun and don't forget play Each show we're joined by someone new Carry on watching to find out who It's not always easy Trying something new So join John, Ray and Erica and be part of the crew. Oh. Hi guys. Where is everybody? Psst. Over here. Ma! Ooh. Hello, my name's Bryony. Hi, Hi Bryony. What Century Squad got planned today? We are going on a dinosaur tour. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny and loud you can do it too if you want want to join in with us at home just do the biggest roar you can and we'll be dinosaurs together ready one two three roar! Wow. you are great so cool! I'm really looking forward to today. Me too! Let's check our Sensory Squad rucksack to make sure we have everything we need. We will need a pack of sponges, a dinosaur toy, an egg box, a container filled with water, a squiggly wriggly toy and a pineapple. That's it! We are ready for a dinosaur tour! Let's go zoom! <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've come to Crystal Palace Park to look for dinosaurs. Where's Ray? Looking for dinosaurs. <laughs> Hi, Sensory Squad. <laughs> Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah! We're so excited to meet Sarah from Friends of Crystal Palace Dinosaurs who's going to show us some dinosaurs. Where are we going to see the dinosaurs? Right here at Crystal Palace. Hang on, I can't see a Crystal Palace. Sadly, the Crystal Palace is no longer here, but we still call the park Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. During the reign of Queen Victoria, there was once a huge palace made of glass right here in South London. Lots of people came to see it. One of the features that attracted them were the dinosaur statues. The Victorians had never seen anything like it before, and they were amazed. And these dinosaurs are still here today. Where? There's one right behind you. <laughs> that statue looks amazing! <laughs> but how did you get the dinosaurs to 
pose. Well, Erica, the Victorians got an artist to use their imagination because there weren't any dinosaurs around. The dinosaurs lived a long time ago and now they're extinct. How long ago did the dinosaurs live? Between 245 and 66 million years ago. What? That's a really long time ago. How do we know they really existed? <laughs> That's a good question. It's because they left their bones behind. Huh? How about I show you? So here's our dinosaur walking around. What's its name? How about we call her Dizzy? Now one day, Dizzy died and left behind her bones. They got covered in mud and then more and more rock over millions of years. While the bones were getting squished, water seeped in and turned them into stone. Sometimes, changes in the Earth's crust can send the old rocks at the bottom right to the surface and leave a fossil waiting nearby for someone to find it. That's amazing! I hope I find a fossil one day. There are places you can go looking for fossils in Britain, like the Jurassic Coast. Yes! I'm going to find one! Let's get out our sensory squad rucksacks so we can see how fossils were made. Mm -hmm. Let's get out our dinosaur toy and our sponges. Come on! Mm. Now, let's place down our dinosaur toy and cover it with sponges. Place one over the other so the dinosaur gets squished at the bottom. Now let's have a look for our dinosaur. What's under all this rock? Keep peeling off the layers until you find your dinosaur. Ooh. Hooray! Although we wouldn't find the whole dinosaur, just its bones. And now we have to work out what that dinosaur looked like from just those bones. How do we do that? Experts will try to put together a whole skeleton to work out what the dinosaur looked like. Oh. But sometimes they don't have all the bones and that's what happened here. These were made by the Victorians. They had never seen a dinosaur before, so they had to guess and they didn't always get it right. How many dinosaur statues are there? We have 14 different types. Some are dinosaurs and some are marine reptiles. But I'm only going to show you a few of them. Can you show us on the map? Sure. First, we're going to look at the Megalosaurus, then the Ichthyosaur and Plesiosaur, and finally the Iguanodon. There's so much to see and do. Ryan and I are going to be very busy making our own clay fossils. And we will go and find Ray and see some dinosaurs. Bye! See you later! Bye. Look! I found a dinosaur! <gasps> Ray, Erica, let me introduce you to the Megalosaurus. It's huge! Megalosaurus means giant lizard. It's got really big teeth. This one is a meat eater, so it had really sharp teeth. I wouldn't want to be chomped by that. <laughs> oh, let's have a look in our sensory squad rucksack. Ooh. Let's take out our egg boxes. <laughs> have a feel of the bottom edge of your egg box. Imagine what the jagged edges of those sharp teeth might have felt like. If you have two egg boxes, you could even pretend to chomp someone's hand off. Chomp, chomp, chomp. You are so sneaky. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> we have to look after its teeth because this Megalosaurus lost its jaw. What, what happened? happened? The weather. Because these statues are outside, they're at risk of being damaged by the wind, rain, sun, snow and ice. This poor Megalosaurus got so damaged by the weather, its jaw fell off. 
Spring is showery, flowery, bowery, summer, hoppy, croppy, poppy, autumn, wheezy, sneezy, freezy, winter, snappy, drippy, lippy. So, we had to make a new one and put it back on. Can't you just get a new dinosaur? One that's more up to date? That's a really good question. We think it's really important to look after these dinosaurs because they show us the history of how we have learned about them from the Victorians to today. Also, I think they're pretty cool. Us, us too. too. Can we see another one? Of course, this way. <laughs> Zoom! Oh, Guys, that? I found some more. <gasps> what are they? These are ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs. Great names. Ichthyosaur means fish lizard and plesiosaur means close to lizard. Could they swim? Some of them. Oh, they look so wriggly and slippery. It's time to get out our containers and our wriggly toys. Come on. Put your wriggly toy into the water. Ooh, ooh, so wriggly and squishy. Ooh. Just like a fish lizard. These statues are based on fossils discovered about 200 years ago by a fossil hunter called Mary Anning. She sells fossils on the seashore. She sells fossils on the seashore. She found the ichthyol and plesiosaur. I like these dinosaurs. They're not actually dinosaurs. But I thought this was a dinosaur park. Ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs are extinct, but they're not dinosaurs. They were much smaller and used to live in water, so we call them marine reptiles. I like these marine reptiles. Me too. Can we see another one? Yes, if you... Woohoo! Zoom! We better catch up. Zoom! Well done, Ray. You've found the Iguanodon. Along with the Megalosaurus, the Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered. Are they slightly different? Yes, we have two different models here because the Victorians weren't entirely sure how the Iguanodon looked. They just had a collection of fossilised bones and weren't sure how to put them together. Some Victorians thought it probably walked like an iguana and others thought it walked like an elephant. So in the end, they decided to make one of each. One thing we think they did get right was their scaly skin. It looks really bumpy. It does, doesn't it? Oh, time to get out our sensory squad rucksack. Let's get out our pineapple. <laughs> oh, run your hand over it. It feels very scaly just like a dinosaur's skin. Can we eat it now? Maybe if you get an adult to help cut it open. Oh, speaking of food, I could show you a really good place to have dinner. <gasps> Where? In an iguanodon. Mm. The Victorians held a dinner party inside the mould for this statue. Oh, I wish we could have gone. Me too. Well, perhaps you can. What? what? Oh, quick, let's tell the others. Zoom! <laughs> Whoa! Where are we, John? We 
here on the Jurassic Coast, Bryony. This is where people hunt for fossils. Who's that over there? That's Mary Anning, the amazing fossil hunter. <laughs> Should we go and say hello? Hi there, I'm Mary Anning. I discovered the ichthyosaur and plesiosaur. Wow! What are those on the table? I call these my curiosities. They're fossils that I dug from out the rock here on the beach. They look amazing. We're going to show everyone how they can make one of these at home. That sounds like a good idea. Let's show you what you'll need. To make your own fossil, you will need air drying clay, a rolling pin, some paints and a paintbrush, some small dinosaur toys or a cookie cutter, a glass of water, some PVA glue, a straw and a length of string. Ready? Let's go. The first thing to do is to use the rolling pin to roll out the clay until it's about one centimetre thick. Then take a dinosaur toy and press it into the clay. You might need to do this two or three times to get a really good impression. There we go. You could also use a dinosaur shaped cookie cutter and make a dinosaur shape like that. Now take the straw and make a hole at one of the edges of the fossil. So you can attach it to your sensory squad rucksack. I'm giving the straw a very gentle suck to get the piece out. Finally, Take a little bit of water just to smooth out the edges. And we can leave it overnight to dry. Cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. Now it's time to paint the fossil. Or if you want, you could just leave it like it is. I'm going to try a bit of paint today, so I'm going to mix a bit of black and white paint to get a sort of grey colour, so it looks like stone. It doesn't matter if there are streaks on it, because stones are very much like that, and they're not all an even colour. There we go. And now I'm going to use a smaller brush to pick out the fossil skeleton using a bit of gold. What you can also do once this is dry, is you can seal it and give it a nice glossy finish with some PVA glue, which you can apply with a brush. There we go. And now let's add it to the other fossils in our collection. What do you think? They're great. They look just like my fossils. Can I put one on my rock? Of course you can. This one's dry. So we'll take the string and thread it through the hole, just like that. And then that means 
we can tie it on to the rucksack next to Pom Pom Peak and the Silly Circus Peg Doll from previous episodes. If you watch every episode, you can collect all the craft items and attach them to your rucksack. Thanks, John. That looks great. One more thing. Shall we have a bit of fun? Yes. Erica made us some edible sand. You can make some too. Just follow the link or you can find it in the bio at the end. If we put our fossil in a box of sand like this, we can then try to dig them out, just like Mary Annie. Can you show us, Mary? Okay. I'm just going to go nice and carefully because I don't want to damage the fossil. Oh, I think I found it. Can you hand me a brush? There we go. Got it! Hooray! Nice work, Mary Annie. <laughs> What's that noise? I think we might know. Hi, guys. Hi, Ray. Hi, Erica. Sarah has said we can have a party in the Guanadon. What? And no time to explain. Let's go. You better get going. Bye. 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 Let's sing a song! And look out for the dino stomp! Take a deep breath and give a big roar Sensory Squad are going on a dinosaur tour Megalosaurus roar! He lost his jaw outside in the cold It fell to the floor the Victorians made these cool statues They looked a bit weird as they lacked all the clues Take a deep breath and give a big roar Sensory Squad are going on a dinosaur tour It be a sore rock Please see a sore bound By Mary Anning on the seashore Both could swim Splash out and play We made our own fossils Out of clay Take, Take a deep breath And give a big roar Sensory Squad Are going on a dinosaur tour Roar! Deciding on a pose, they almost went to war. Did Iguanodon walk on two legs or four? Take a deep breath and give a big roar. Sensory Squad, I'm going on a dinosaur tour. 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 That's all we've got time for today. We've really enjoyed learning about the dinosaurs at Crystal Palace Park. We got to roar. We made some fossils for our rucksack. And we had a party in an iguanodon. Woo! <laughs> Thanks so much to Sarah from Friends of Crystal Palace Dinosaurs for showing us around. Come visit us again. And thank you to Mary Anning for showing us your fossils. Bye, Sensory Squad. I love 
fossil hunting with you. It's time to say goodbye. A big thank you to Bryony for joining us today. I had so much fun. Thanks, Sensory Squad. <laughs> and look out for our next episode, Playtime at the Palace. And if you liked this one, please hit like and subscribe. So, from all of us and all of the dinosaurs, goodbye. Bye! Bye.